Right, let's see if we can actually finish this train. Now, where were we? Aha, we don't need those anymore. Uh, we need that. Ah, so we're about to go and save Rebecca. Fair enough. So anyway, let's scooch on over to her. Because we now have the tool to get into the next room. Now there is kind of like a tip coming up that I will give you, but in case no one's seen this game uh, yet, I'm not going to say it just yet, because it gives the game away. Haha, -ha, forward thinking. And there's a bloody munch beast that is munching my face, actually more on the back of my neck, but we're forgiving. Yeah, he's caressing my neck with his gentle kisses. Now, but that's okay, because Billy's hard. Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's run, run, run. No zombies. We don't like zombies. That's why we shoot them. Now, I'm armed with some weapons grade T. So let's just sit back and enjoy some Resident Evil. Right. So before we do anything... Let's go back over to here, and we are going to give Rebecca... Oh, wow, Billy's injured. Okay. So we can't use that. So he is not invincible after all. Bugger. Place an item here, yes. We're going to put the ice pick in. And then Rebecca's going to move her ass down to where we are. Yep, we will push the button. And we're going to switch over to Rebecca and finally get out of this. Finally get out of this uh, room. Right, so we're going to take that. Yes. And we are going to fiddle with this doorknob. Right. Uh, let's have a look. Now, do we have to select it? I can't remember. There is something. Yes, yes. We know there's something preventing us from using the door. And I've pushed the wrong button again. Yeah, get used to that. <laughs> That's probably going to happen quite a lot. Right, okay. So we're going to use that. I've played so many different versions of Resident Evil over the years on so many different control pads. It gets a bit like that at times. The door knob is unstuck now. That's always good. Right. And we're going to avoid the flaming zombie because we don't need to fight him. And we shouldn't actually have to see him again. So that's okay. Right. So let's go see Billy. Hey, Billy! Remember me? So we're going to regroup. And we're going to use our new tool. Get around there. We're going to use our panel opener, as it is descriptive here. And we're going to open a panel. Now, I believe that uses the panel opener up. Ah, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> there we go. Right, uh, yeah, so the panel opener is a single use item. Uh, we are going to munch that because we don't want Billy to be injured. Um, right, so let's crawl down here and see what's in this locked cart. And it will be dogs. Well, that's great. Come on, Rebecca. She fired one bullet, I think. Easy as that. Right, now, we are going to examine everything. We're going to mark everything on the map. This is important. We're not going to take it. In fact, actually, we, no, we're not going to take it. Just mark it. Nope. And from what I understand, using a first aid spray in this game, I did kind of briefly look it up, it doesn't damage your score. So that's cool. Yep. Mark everything. 
Uh, is that all the stuff here, actually? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so, there's something flashing here. What's that? A strange odour lingers around the cage. Yes, I bet. A gold ring. Okay. We'll have that, damn it. We shall have that gold ring, and we shall look at it. And uh, let's have a look. Examine. A finely crafted gold ring. Okay. Well, we'll hold on to that then. Let's go out here. Continue moving forwards. Ah. Wonderful. We're at the rear of the train. Well, that's okay. Here we have a hook shot, and we want that hook shot. We really want that hook shot. To use, pull the lever, and to release. Elbow and Nicky's put me off. To use, pull the lever, and release the lock. And. Right. We need to switch to Rebecca. And does she have two slots? Or should I say, does he have two slots? Uh, yeah, he does. Okay, so we're set. We're all set. So we need him to stay there. And we need Rebecca to go over here, precisely. Then we're going to switch. Now we need to, her to pull it, and at exactly the same time she pulls it, we need Billy to pick it up. And there are a couple of instances like that in this game. Now as soon as we pick this up, something relatively minute but interesting happens. The camera angle changes. I don't know why, that always... I always thought that was a bit weird. Also, I don't think I've explained this yet, although we control Billy, you can actually control Rebecca too. You can control Rebecca or your other partner with the right stick. So your main character is that stick, the left one, and your partner is the right stick. And that does come in handy. It seems a bit weird, why, why would they put that in? But it is actually quite useful for manoeuvring the other character. And this is why I think this partner system genuinely does work quite well. Right, moving on. And it would bloody work well if she'd follow us. Now coming up is an annoying bit that I um, kind of royally screwed myself over with it uh, when I played it through yesterday. And I'll explain that as we get there. So we need to be Billy and we need Rebecca to come with us. So now we can unlock this door and go back to the kitchen the normal way. Right. And a zombie jumps out of us. I thought he was going to bite Rebecca then. That would have been really bad. Come on. He's not very accurate, which kind of was useful. He's a super zombie as well, if anybody knows what that means. Uh, if anyone's played Resident Evil before, that means he's basically kind of like a boss, sort of, if that makes sense. Um, right, so we're going to carry on. They, these bottles here, we can combine them with the gas canister and we can make Molotov cocktails. They are extremely useful if used in the right circumstances. Leech zombies basically, save them for leech zombies. Right, so, let's continue. Notice how we're not picking anything up, we're just marking things on the map. In fact, I don't know if I've shown you yet in this video. If we, Let's split up. Okay. If we go to our map, we can bring up, push A, an item list. Now, as you can see, this room's full. Um, 
high frame select category. Yeah, there we go. You can select weapons, uh, recovery, increment, etc. So yeah, so we've pretty much cut, uh, found every item on this floor. Um, now, like I said, there is a reason we're detecting everything but not picking it up. <coughs> and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, we're not going to worry too much about that zombie. Because with any luck, he's just going to stay there. And he won't bother us. Yeah, we got a zombie in here, which, um, where is he? Uh, he's quite, f oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Right. Yeah, it's kind of good we dropped him. Um, I didn't, oh yeah, okay. We might as well take these guys out. I really didn't want to have to, but. <sighs> You'll see why they want to take these guys. Oh, and there's another one just got up. So I've gone empty. No. Come on, ugly. Let's uh, get Rebecca out of the way. See, that's what I mean by that uh, left stick. It's very handy. We can just chuck her out of the way into the corner somewhere. Whilst we blast. And that didn't really work. Because Gutsy is still went for her. There we go. Now, what's Rebecca got on her? Because this bit's important. She's on danger, which is not great. And another thing as well, it's usually not worth giving her um, two herbs. Like, um, I, I would never give her a red and a green mix because Billy generally takes a lot more damage and therefore is more useful so you might as well save them for him now Rebecca's got 10 bullets so is that mm, what I might do is give her some more if I can get the feckin thing to brr. right there we go Ah, Billy's got the thingity, what's it? The hook shot. Uh, we are gonna... Hmm... Exchange. We're gonna give her one... One clip. And then we're gonna get Billy... To use the hook shot. Through the window, you see a broken ladder. It's of no use right now. Now that, um... Letter we got earlier explained this. Let's split up. What should I say? It explained this that there was Roger. actually um, a ladder there that leads up to the roof. Are we being Billy, I wonder? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realise that. I thought only Rebecca could come up here. So that's kind of handy. So we need to drop down here. Looks like there's a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump through the crack? Yeah, we like to jump through cracks. And as you can see, there is a friendo zombie here. Come on, matey. Now, he oh, there we go. See, Billy can headshot zombies. Uh, whereas Rebecca can't. Now, what's in here? A jewellery box. Okay. Now, I got killed yesterday by, um, basically I forgot that there was a zombie in this room, so I gave Rebecca, and Billy's out of ammo, um, I forgot there was a zombie in this room, so I gave, I took all of Rebecca's ammo away, and sent her through. Now, once you're in this room, and you cannot get back out whilst that zombie's alive, uh, because the door doesn't open. So, they give you a knife in case uh, this happens, but <laughs> yeah, taking on a zombie with a knife on dead red life isn't that easy. And so I failed, so I went all the feckin' way back. A strong wind is blowing from outside. Well, that's nice to know. It's stained with someone's blood, perhaps one of the passengers. Oh, maybe. 
I would say that's a pretty good guess. The box is filled with passengers' belongings. They all look extremely valuable. Yeah, so this is kind of like some... Yeah. Yeah, this is some real high up VIP area. Yep. Damn it, and I've just switched back to Rebecca, which we don't need to do. If you leave your partner alone whilst they're being attacked, they will be killed. So let's have a look at this. Yep, looks like a typical plain jewelry box. Should we open it? Shall we? Yes. And inside is another ring. The silver ring. So we now have a silver and a gold ring. Now I think you guys, at least most of you guys, probably know where this is going. Yep. Yeah. Oh crap. Now this is where things get knocked up a notch. Because now all these eggs that have been dotted about are hatching. <sighs> Wonderful. So, wunderbar. So, we are, ah, oh, yes. Now these eggs are really annoying. Now we now have access to this place. Remember, this is where we fought the boss. And then there's the room with the crap shotgun. And we're about to get attacked. If you have leech craw leeches crawling up you, just go into another room. Uh, because they can kind of do little irritating bits of damage to you. But if you go into another room, you can see, like magic, they're not on you anymore. Uh, this can be really handy if you're low on health. Right. And you can see we have another one on us. This herb has not been um, marked, so we're going to mark it. Now going down here should be the same as going through a door, so we shouldn't have leeches on us. Yep, there's no leeches through here. Right, so anyway, we're back with our buddy Rebecca, and we're going to team up. Come on. Now let's go back to that briefcase that we found earlier. Now, what have we here? We could save it again, I guess, but I don't want to. How are you doing, Ed? He's still sitting down, still relaxing. So I'm pretty sure I left the briefcase in this room. I did. Now, we do have a problem here, and that is that we're going to need to short, uh, to short, to sort our stuff out because we need Billy to pick up the. Ah, uh, we can drop that now. Leave. You can't leave it here. When it says that, it basically means that there's not enough space in the um, uh, in the room, which is kind of a pain. So anyway, we're going to swap that, give that to Rebecca, and we'll pick this up. Right, and what... I might actually quickly swap to Rebecca. And she's going to pick these herbs up and then combine them. Because that is her special ability. Which is a bit of a shame, because Billy got all the cool stuff. Uh, combine. Yep, there we go. Right. Now... So what we're going to do is we are going to combine these together. Then we need to examine this. The briefcase has been unlocked. Open. Yes. Great bit of animation there as well. Really good. Now, all that for that. But we need this. Took the blue key card. Now this blue key card and I've got a cough. Right, sorry about that. This blue keycard is needed at the other end. And to be fair, this is probably coming up to the half an hour mark, so... Yeah, I'm going to save it. 
I don't want to save it, I want to keep playing, but that's the way it goes. I was hoping we could polish off this uh, train section in this half an hour, but not quite, I don't think. Right, so let's grab that. And, yep, record data, we will. So we're going to save it there. And that concludes part three of Resident Evil uh, Zero. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and more to come soon. I think that one was I think that one was quite good.